Hey, welcome to the Gwinnett Small Business Spotlight. We love to feature and celebrate the small businesses within our county through quick interviews. And you're going to learn who they are, what they do, why they do it, how you can find them, why you should use them. And I encourage you to seek out and support these men and women as they're the ones that are helping make Gwinnett County great. And our guest today is Dr. Chris Connolly. Dr. Connolly is a certified brain injury specialist and the founder of Brain Cushion. Dr. Connolly, thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Sure. In our first two interviews, you educated us on what a TBI is, traumatic brain injury. You, you talked about what the long-term ramifications are and, and how we are failing in the healthcare community uh, in properly assessing, diagnosing, and treating these injuries and why that needs to change. Now, you have started a new company called Brain Cushion. Tell us about Brain Cushion, why you started the company. Well, as uh, we started doing more brain injury work about five or six years ago, we noticed a lot of these patients that we missed. And I thought back and I thought, wow, these are patients, even over my past 25 years that I saw, and really they had a TBI. So I saw the need because the diagnosis was being missed by providers because lack of awareness. And then we noticed there's a problem in the healthcare industry with getting adequate care. So we uh, enjoy using the Gwinnett Concussion Center. It's now, I think, Northside Concussion Center. And uh, for various reasons, they got bought out. There's some problems getting patients access to care. But the quality of the service was amazing. And the patients we service uh, wound up having problems having access to care. And so um, through impact testing and through other services, uh, telemed became available. And it's great because of the fact patients now have access to some amazing neuropsychologists, psychiatrists, uh, physiatrists, neurologists uh, throughout the country, some of the really premier providers do telemed. And so one, it's very easy for the patient. Also with a TBI, they probably shouldn't be traveling a whole lot anyway. And then also they get access to providers that they normally wouldn't have access to. Now, I know you have partnered with several healthcare providers uh, around Metro Atlanta, uh, the first of which was Matt Richardson, Dr. Matt Richardson at Peachtree Spine Physicians. Uh, Dr. Richardson is, is a great physiatrist. Tell us why you, you chose to, to integrate with his clinic and why a physiatrist is so important in the TBI assessment and diagnosis. Well, one of the criteria or the protocols we go by are the VA. So unfortunately, our veterans, they, they serve our country very nobly, but they also have one of the highest rates of TBI in the world. And so there's a lot of research data and protocols that they use uh, that are great to follow. So they actually develop the specialty of physiatry, and um, it deals with TBI. So they recognize four providers for the diagnosis, a physiatrist, neuropsychiatrist, uh, psychiatrist and neurosurgeon. And so, uh, and physiatrist is one of those providers they recognize. And Dr. Richardson did TBI research and, and clinicals over at Shepherd Spinal Center, which is an amazing facility. So he also saw the awareness as well, uh, or the, the problem of patients not being ad adequately diagnosed. And so he liked the fact to be able to have these neuropsychologists available through telemed um, very readily. So. In many clinics, you would be able to see a neuropsychiatrist or psychologist in about I don't know, four weeks, eight weeks, even longer sometimes. Uh, the good thing with brain cushion is you could see a provider within uh, sometimes 24 hours. Sometimes it could be you know three or four days, but it's within a week usually. So the good thing is it gives patients access to care, a very convenient method, and also timely. So it's very quick after the trauma. Well, let's, let's break that down into a scenario. Say a, a person, unfortunately, is involved in a car wreck. They either go to, to your office or to uh, Dr. Richardson's office at Peachtree Spine. Walk us through the process when you potentially suspect a TBI, what you do to assess it, and then how brain cushion takes over. Sure. So uh, we do our normal assessments. Um, and we've seen actually so many TBI patients, actually even my front staff can actually say, wow, it looks like this person had one. And then when they come back, the doctor does the evaluation. I sit down with them and basically go over uh, either Stanford concussionaire or different clinical things. We do an, a neurological examination and talk to the patient and, and go over some of the uh, processes to develop a diagnosis of TBI. And also there's major subtypes. So there's different subtypes of diagnosis of concussion. So we'll get a diagnosis and what's the major subtype. 
Then we go over the best practices for the patient, what they should do at home. We go over lifestyle medicine, things to do, things to avoid, different things that are scientifically proven that patients need to hear about a TBI. Then we make the referral to brain cushion. They have a provider um, you know, call the patient usually that same day or the next day. And then they get scheduled with a psychologist or a neuropsychologist within a couple of days. And then they get care, follow up care, and the patients love it. Uh, there's one doctor that I think is amazing over there, Dr. Doran, who patients absolutely love it. And he went to Harvard and he's uh, been doing this for about 20 years and just amazing with patients. And so it's great because it's almost like a plug and play TBI clinic to have a, uh, that type, type of or that caliber of provider in my office. One, it's hard to find. Two, it would be outrageously expensive. So the good thing is patients get access to care in a timely manner. And these specialists are very difficult to find. So the good thing is they get the great care that they need. And Brain Cushion has the exclusive arrangement utilizing impact concussion testing. You'd mentioned that in one of our prior videos. Tell us more about impact because I, as I understand it, that is the gold standard test out there uh, for, and it's approved by the FDA for an online assessment of a TBI. Exactly. We're very happy and, and blessed to be uh, partnered with them. And Impact, in my opinion, is one of the best in the industry. They not only have great products, but also do a lot of research and innovation. And again, awareness, awareness of providers. But you name it, college, pro, any type of sports activity, they're plugged in as far as dealing with uh, the athletes that have it. Uh, there was an unrecognized risk for a lot of patients of motor vehicle collisions. In fact, uh, the CDC reports that motor vehicle collisions are the third leading cause of TBI in the United States. Now, I think that number may be underreported because of the misdiagnosis. So, uh, but right now, the CDC, based on the stats we have, motor vehicle collisions are the third leading cause of TBI, and in many cases, are not being addressed appropriately. But also, I think that number will go up substantially once there's a proper awareness and patients get the proper care. And I'm looking at the impact uh, sheet that, that really talks about the test. I see they have administered over 20,500,000 tests since January of 2021. It is a class two medical, medical device uh, approved by the FDA. They've had more than 650 peer reviewed and independent studies that prove the validity of this concussion assessment. And on a side note, my daughter, one of my daughters participates in a homeschool cheerleading squad. They actually had to have the impact test to be able to participate doing baseline testing. Why, why is that important? Well, it's great to get a baseline test because that way if there is a head injury, they can test. But also impact has developed some post injury testing that you don't need a baseline for. And think of it like a stethoscope. It helps to tell cognitively how the patient's doing. But again, it's really important to have that clinical evaluation as well to confirm the diagnosis. Because the test by itself is important, but it's really important to have the clinical diagnosis as well to sort of tie all the pieces together. I like to think of it like the stethoscope for the brain, that it helps to see how the brain's functioning. Because remember, a TBI is more of a structural, uh, is, is more of a functional injury, not structural. There are times where there are structural injuries, but most of the time it's a functional injury. All right. So the doctor suspects and assesses a TBI. They refer it to brain cushion. Brain cushion will have the appointment with the neurologist or the neuropsychologist scheduled. In the interim, the patient takes the impact test. Take us through what happens once the patient gets online through the telehealth appointment with the neurologist or the neuropsychologist armed with that impact test result. So they'll do their clinical evaluation and they actually will wind up um, you know, doing a neurological evaluation, look at the eyes, there's different things they could do actually telemed-wise. In fact, uh, one of the providers actually does this for ER clinics, so ER hospitals. And so uh, the ERs, particularly in rural Georgia, they don't have the access right. to have a neurologist all the time. So he covers about 13 different clinics or uh, hospitals in Georgia. And if they have a patient that needs a neurological evaluation, they actually do it all telemed. So they will actually sit down and do the whole neurological evaluation consultation. You know, it could take anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour, and they'll do a complete evaluation and go over also what is their recommendation for the patient to do. Sometimes it's getting physical therapy. Sometimes it's seeing a, um, a provider in person. Sometimes it's addressing some of the other issues uh, like vision problems or 
um, even potential for a bleed and maybe refer for an MRI. Now, if a healthcare provider wants to incorporate brain cushion into their practice, what should they do? Uh, they could just go to braincushion.com and basically fill out a request to become a strategic partner. You know, we're basically a plug and play to get patients access to care. But regardless, we just want to raise awareness for these providers and say, look, you could be missing this and this is a detriment to the patient. And we see a lot of times patients will come in, maybe they got unnecessary treatment, unnecessary maybe injections or chiropractic. And in reality, they, have, they had a TBI. And so it's really important to give adequate assessment. So one, we want to raise awareness, and that's the primary goal. Number two is if they do want to become a strategic, strategic partner, just go to braincushion.com, and they can fill out a, a entry form to become a strategic partner. And Dr. Conley, what kind of feedback have you received from your patients that have gone through the Brain Cushion protocol? Oh, amazing. I mean, they just love the access to care, the ease, the recommendations. You know, and as a provider, it's great because you have the top-notch services like impact and also the medical component um, done through telemed. And so it's really, I think, going to be the future. In fact, I think every aspect of healthcare has noticed, unfortunately, with COVID, that telehealth is the future and the access to care gives more patients access uh, at an affordable cost. Uh, but also they get some of the best doctors in the industry when it comes to TBIs. That is one positive if, if there ever is anything out of the COVID situation, the pandemic, for the widespread adoption of telehealth medicine. As you said, it is so convenient and it's something that's been happening already uh, where doctors are providing care to some of the rural hospitals that you spoke about. Yes. Right. Yeah, I think it's be game changing in healthcare. Great. Now, if somebody is involved in a wreck and they're exhibiting the, the symptoms of a TBI, what should they do immediately? And then talk about what they should do as a follow up. Well, I mean, if, if it's a motor vehicle collision, fall, or a sports injury, and they have signs of a concussion, such as throwing up, loss of consciousness, go to the ER right away. Yeah. You know, if they've already checked out and there's not any type of life threatening symptoms or anything, there could be a bleed. It's good to go to either their chiropractor, physical therapist or medical doctor and just talk about all the different symptoms. Many times providers are just focused on like if it's the neck, back, shoulder, whatever. But it's important to talk with your doctor about all the symptoms. You know, as a provider for 25 years, one of the things I tell patients all the time, look, when you tell me things, it's not complaining. You're not whining. You know, I need to know all the symptoms you had and, or have. And so tell them everything that you're experiencing. Sometimes they may think it's nothing and it could be a big thing. So we've seen that over and over again. Where are well, I don't know. I don't think this is big, but I'm going to mention this. And sometimes it does turn into a big issue. So remember, when you go to a doctor, telling them all the symptoms is not complaining, whining or anything like that. In fact, we want you to tell all the symptoms. The worst thing would be if you go to a doctor, don't tell them what's really wrong with you. So, um, you know, I think that's one of the most important advices I give patients is talk to the provider and tell them all the symptoms they have. Yeah, I love that. That's great advice. You're not whining. You're not complaining. You're helping the doctor help you. And I always tell my clients a good rule of thumb, start from the top of your head, go to the tip of your toes, and let them know all of the problems you've experienced. Uh, they, they've experienced because of the wreck. Document the file. That is so important. And if patients, if doctors, again, want to uh, know more about brain cushion, tell us how they can find out more and how they can get in contact with you, Dr. Connolly. Sure. Well, if it's someone, a patient that needs care, they just go to braincushion.com and there's a referral form there. Um, and there's also a form that providers could fill out to be able to uh, become a strategic partner. And even we have free tools for providers about awareness. Uh, we have free evaluation forms. We have the ACE form, the Stanford Concussion Questionnaire form, and the River Me that we will give to providers for free. And then also, impact testing has been so gracious to allow us to have these discounted rates for some of their educational programs. So there's actually online resources for providers to go to. Some of them are free and some of them are paid. But basically, uh, if they reach out to us, we could actually facilitate some of that educational service. Well, Dr. Connolly, you're certainly filling a void uh, by creating Brain Cushion. Thank you for what you do. Uh, thanks for bringing an awareness to a, uh, an injury, a condition that is often overlooked and shouldn't be because of the long-term consequences that you laid out for us. 
I, I appreciate you, you taking the time to be with us here on the Gwinnett Small Business Spotlight. Well, thank you for having me. And, and folks, please remember this point. When you buy from a small business, you're not helping a CEO buy a third vacation home. You're helping a little girl get a dance lesson, a little boy get his team jersey, a mom to put food on the table, and a dad pay a mortgage or a student pay for college. Keep that in mind if you would. Hey, thanks for watching. God bless. Be safe.